Date Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. Topic Reject Evil Counsel of Ungodly Ministers. Our text today is taken from the book of 3 John, chapter 1, verse 9 to verse 10. I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. Wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds, which he doeth, prating against us with malicious words, and not content therewith. Neither doeth he himself receive the brethren, and forbiddeth them that would, and casteth them out of the church. Key verse, Psalm chapter 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Since you know that your minister is speaking out of the flesh, why do you keep obeying him? Is there any reward in such obedience? Do you think it is God you are obeying? Even you, woman, does that minister not sleep with you? Yet somebody brings the truth and you still defend the same apostate minister. Save yourself. Get out from that place and look for where you will have life. You should know by that which happened and you saw with your eyes that this man does not know Jesus. Do you want to die because of bribe, money, power, or healing? So take heed to thyself. John the Beloved wrote to the church, but Diotrephes, an evil man that became a leader over the church, resisted John the Beloved. Apostle John wrote to the church to take care of missionaries that were coming among them for evangelism, for ministry, but Diotrephes rejected them and despised the letter. Some people said, ah, do you despise Apostle John's letter? Brethren, come to our house. Diotrephes cast them out of the church for obeying John and disobeying him. John said, I will be coming with angels to take over. I will take over that church with apostolic authority. Paraphrased. There are people who make announcements. Do not go to that program. Some others organize their own minister's conference to teach them errors just so that they do not go to where there is light and truth. Ministers who are angry against righteousness, they say, no, we do not want. We do not want that minister or ministry. This is what is blocking the church from achieving revival and oneness. But as many of us have understood, should come together and be united in the church of Christ. Thought for the day. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly.